Today, we're going to talk about doing linear regression using Anvil Axe. So Tableau, through its analytics pane, provides a really nice way to do linear regressions and other types of modeling. You can just drag it in. Boom, I have a linear regression. Now, that's super helpful, but there's a few different limitations here. First, if we want to actually deal with the parameterization of this model, we have to hover over this and copy those parameters out into Tableau parameters. Uh, and if we, you know, for example, we change our filters here, that's going to automatically recalculate, which may or may not be what we want. You know, oftentimes we're trying to establish a model and then that model is going to be something we count on moving forward. And while we might want to re-parameterize it on occasion, it's not, you know, something we want to do by default. So Anvil X can help us on both these fronts. First, I'm going to add a dashboard here. So I'm going to add my sales trend and I'm going to add Anvil X. So to do that first, I'm going to come over to Anvil and I'll create a new blank app and I'll make an Anvil X extension. I'm going to take this, test it in Tableau and get my manifest file, which is how I'm going to register this in Tableau desktop. And I'll now add that to my workbook. The first thing we want to do, of course, is to train our model. So we're going to have to get the data that's underlying this thing. I will come over to here. I'm going to go to my home page, which is the first thing we see when that extension loads. I'll get rid of this stuff and I'm going to add a button for us to train our model. So to train our model, the first thing we're going to do is to capture the data in the worksheet. And we can do that with our get worksheet. We are going to get the sales trend worksheet. And we will get our data from uh, that worksheet. And we can go ahead and let's just print the first column of that or the first row of that data. That always gets returned as a list of dictionaries. We're going to reload this. We've made change to our code, so that means we've got to press reload. Click our train model, and we'll see in our Tableau output the data that we're dealing with here. Orders and sales, straightforward. So the next thing that we need to do is to separate out our X and Y values for our regression. Uh, now, one thing we need to do is because this is dealt as a date, uh, we can't do regression on date fields, so we need to convert this to a number. We will do that, so we'll come into our worksheet. Duplicate our order date, and we'll coerce that to a number. Tableau will take care of it from there. And we'll add that to our detail pane as a, or to take it as an average, so that that information then is being made available through um, through the data that Tableau is suggesting. And I can go ahead and let's try our model again, so we can print that output. And we see great. We've got our month date, our average of our order date, which is what we're dealing with here, and our sum of sales. So now we can get our X's, which is for each data point. I'll take this field here. D in data. For our Y's, we will take the sum of sales, which is what we're actually trying to predict here. And we've now got our X and Y data that we're going to use to train our model. Now we can't really do, we can't use a lot of the libraries we'd like to use for this client side. So we're going to add a server module and we will import um, scipy.stats and we will want to use the lin regress function. So we're going to make a callable, train our model, and we'll take our X's and our Y's. And we will take our regression as sci stats dot lin regress, and that takes our x's and our y's, and then we'll return our regression slope and our regression intercept. This is coming from from here. We can see exactly what's going on there. 
can see the result is a linear regress result, which gives us a slope and an intercept. So let's go back to our home page. We now need to call that server function. And so we're going to do that with print with our training model, we'll pass it our x's and our y's, and let's print those parameters. Have to reload this. What train model? That data is being collected from Tableau. It's being sent to the server. Uh, it was to, we've trained and fit a model to that data, and we've got our parameters in the form of our slope and our intercept. All right, so next we're going to take our dashboard parameters. So we'll get those with get parameter, and we'll look for the slope. And we want to change the value to parameters zero. Dashboard get per intercept. Can also do that directly by assigning to value. These two things are totally equivalent, two ways of accessing parameters. And when we reload this, so if we come back to our dashboard, we're going to train our model. And we see our slope and our intercept has updated. Here, why that's showing as a percent, we will show that as slope. Now, obviously, we want to see that parameterization in our updated here. So we've got to add a new line with a dependent variable. And so to do that, we'll add a new calculated field, which will be the order date and the slope and the intercept. So we can now drag that into our workbook. And we see our trend line. Now we want to make this dual axis so it's overlaid. And we want to synchronize our axes. And that sure looks like linear, linear regression. So that's how we add a linear regression using Anvil. Now that opens up a couple of doors. For example, we can start to use that model for calculation of residuals. So that would simply be now create a calculated field for residuals. And that's going to be the sum of our sales less our model sales. Take that and we can add our residuals. And we'll show those probably in the bar chart. So we now see where we're over and estimating over time. So we now have introduced a bunch of new measure names and measure values to our workbook, which is creating headaches. So what we'll actually do here is separate out the data from, from the model. We'll do that by taking this forecast worksheet that we have. We're going to duplicate this. And we're going to strip out measure names get rid of residuals as well. Might as well just get rid of this. And this is back to the data that we actually want modeling. So we'll train this as model data from into our dashboard. And we can drag model data into here and make it as small as we want so that you don't actually need anybody to even see this thing. But this data is then available to us uh, for the purposes of training it. So when we come in here, we'll replace this with model data. That's updated. So we've done what we came here to do. We've got a, a new, we've got a worksheet that's calculating our, uh, we're now calculating a linear regression dynamically, and we're capturing those results in the form of parameters so we can start with messing with it. So now, if we want to, for example, start to extend our order date, we can do so, and this is not actually going to recalculate the model. So again, if we want to see how we did in prior periods, we're going to end up with a result that very is very different from you know what we would calculate if we recalculated. If we do want to recalculate, we can click train model, and it's going to use the data that we're looking at here to recalculate that to recalculate the model 
and we can then extend to see how that performs over time. We want to use the entire date. Again, we can choose when we want to recalculate for the purposes of evaluating when we want to use uh, or for the purposes of evaluating when we do want to recalculate versus just compare how it would perform for backtesting or other purposes. And that's how you can use Anvil to really do a lot more with linear regression in Tableau.